The Gopher Coaches Show is presented by Window Concepts and Affinity Plus Federal Credit Union. Yeah, we're rising. Now, it's the Gopher Coaches Show with Dawn Plitzewey and Ben Johnson. Welcome into the Gopher Coaches Show. I'm Ahmad Hicks alongside Kate fans Justin Gard and women's head basketball coach Don Plitzewey. Coach, thank you for joining us as usual. So we'll jump right into it. Um, at one point during this season, you guys were 14-5, and five, and I think everyone around Minnesota was talking about how this was a NCAA tournament team, but adversity hit, mm -hmm. and it hit pretty hard for you guys. What's your overall assessment as your first year as a Gophers head coach, and what have you liked about this team? Well, what we're learning right now is how to embrace adversity and how to develop resiliency, and those lessons pay off <laughs> over the course of time, yeah, yeah. but it's hard. You know, there's... There's no comfort in a growth zone. We're in a growth zone right now, and there's no growth in a comfort zone. And so mm -hmm. we're in that growth zone, and we're working through some things right now, and we're I improving, but we got to keep working on some of those things. So I love the fact that our, our young ladies are, are working through this. They're learning resiliency, and, and they're just great, great young ladies. And so we're going to continue to get better. What is the hardest part about being in the growth zone? Like Ahmad said, maybe seven, eight weeks. Of course, you were growing through the season when you were winning, but it's maybe not what you expected you would be doing. So what's the most difficult part of going through a stretch like this? Well, it's hard because if you, you have to first, first of all, sometimes you have to be in it before you learn how to get out of it sure. type of thing. And so, but you don't really ever want to be in it. But the reality is you're going to be in it again in different ways, maybe not in an injury type of way, but in different ways. And once you learn that skill of how to embrace it, and how to really be truly resilient, you really take off. So the, I don't know, the, what, the most difficult part is just having to be in it and, right. and go through it right now. Right, and you're in there because of some injuries, as we mentioned. We're going to have Mara Braun on the show today. So how have you seen other people maybe try to step up on court, off court? They have to fill the space, right, that Mara left, and obviously Sophie being out the last few games as well. So how have you seen others try to step in there? Well, I think each one of them, again, is I explain this sometimes to recruits. When we ask them, we want to see you do more, right? And so when, we, when you see players do more, and they are, are doing that right now, what we explain some, to them is that that doesn't mean that that's going to go mistake-free. Right. Right? And, and so, again, you're learning how to do things, but you've got to be okay with, with this is a part of the process of doing more, and whether that's doing more on the defensive end, and we've seen games where we don't help very much, and then we see the next game we really overhelp, and then we see games where we're playing really, really hard, and then we fall a lot more than we used yeah. to. You know, so I think it's you're, you're watching kind of an evolution in a lot of different ways, and there are players that are trying to be more vocal, but they don't really know what it – they've never done that before, so they don't really know what to say in that moment and, and how to really get that done and, and those type of things. But all of it will add up to help us continue to get better. It will. And speaking of one player who's taken on a much bigger role since Mara Braun's injury is Grace Koholsky, a freshman on this team. She averaging double-digit points in one game, led you guys in scoring with 23 points. Can you talk about how difficult it can be for a freshman to assume a, a big responsibility that Grace has had to take on since Mara's injury? Well, it's hard for any player to do that, really, until they've been through the program for a while. Well, nobody's been through the program. Right for more than however many months it's been at this point in time. So it's challenging for anyone. Then when you, you add on, you're just learning what it looks like to be in college. And this mm -hmm. is second semester is a lot harder because you're missing more classes. So that's more challenging. And you're learning how to adjust through all of that at the same time. You know, but I think Grace has done just an amazing job of continuing to grow her personal game. She's putting the ball on the floor more. She's attacking the rim a little bit more. She's defending different positions. She's having to get through some screens she didn't have to necessarily do, get through in the same way. And she's, she's finding a way to be more vocal at the same time. So that's adding a lot to your plate. Instead right. of just, hey, go out there and play and make some things right. happen and, and, and just be okay in that role. We're asking her to do an awful lot. And that's, that's really, really a challenge. Will that help her? Absolutely, it's going to help her. Is it easy? No. Is it fun? <laughs> well, it's hard, you know, and it's For hard sure. to do that. But she is doing it, and then she had a period where she didn't really have a voice. Uh -huh. She kind of was going through that. Oh, lost so she was her trying, voice. Oh, wow. Lost her voice. She's trying to communicate so much. And so <laughs> those, are, those are just really cool things to watch her continue to grow through all of it. She's a freshman playing big minutes in the Big Ten, which doesn't happen, as I have to tell you. We're in senior night season right now, and Penn right. State's senior night, for example, took about 25 minutes 
minutes. They had so many seniors that had been there. A long windup to how much does experience matter in this league? Um, now that's your first year, you of course knew it before that, but just going through it now with all these crazy super senior led teams. Well, it's the most veteran the NCAA has ever been because of COVID. So you have more players who are playing into their fifth, sixth, sometimes beyond that season, right? And so you're playing the most, at the most veteran time ever with the youngest team in the Big Ten. So it does make a difference because physically your bodies have to learn how to get through all of that and, and embrace all of that and then be stronger than everyone else at that time. Your ability to know how to handle all of the different situations. But again, it's, it's not only just young in terms of physically young in, in terms of school, but young in terms of everyone learning a whole new system. And all of that makes it really, really challenging. It's why you don't see a lot of freshmen right. playing really in the Big Ten on the, the teams that are, the, are, are at the top of the conference. You see maybe one or two sprinkled in here or there, but you know we are a team that is very, very young. And again, it's going to help us into the future. It really will. You guys are a team um, with a lot of young players, Coach P, but you do have a senior in your team who's kind of embodied the mindset of what it takes to be a gopher and play for you and be a leader through adversity, right. and that's Janae Sanders we're talking about. She got honored on senior night the other day, and we got a chance to kind of catch up with her. She talked about how she played against you, and she could not pass up that opportunity to come play with you. Can you talk about what right. that meant when yeah, she said something like that? That was really special for us to be able to honor Janae on senior night, <clears throat> have her mom and her dad and her brother there. And, and so it was really kind of a neat moment for us. What a tremendous young lady. I think has embraced a new role and she's been in situations where she's been anything from a point guard to a post player in other right. programs. <laughs> you know, and now you're stepping up into not only a new program again, but also a new level. And so I think she has done just a tremendous job of being a great teammate and doing everything within her power to help lead us. Well, we got a chance to catch up with Janae Sanders just a couple of weeks ago to talk about what it's meant to be a gopher. Take a listen. So the first question I have to ask you, you're from North Carolina. What brings you to Minnesota? Um, of course, the coaching staff. Um, I entered the transfer portal looking for an opportunity to play at a Power Five. Um, I played against this coaching staff when they was at West Virginia. Um, I played against them, and it was a tough game for me. Donnie P is a mastermind, so decided to come out here and play for her. When you opened up your recruitment, decided to enter the transfer portal, what was one of the first things Coach P said to you when recruiting you? She was like, hey, we played against you. We know what you can offer. Come play for me. That was it. That was the selling <laughs> it's selling point. Come play for me. And I was like, coach, I want to win. What did you know about her and her teams prior to you playing her when she was at West Virginia? Um, I knew she took West Virginia from a team that didn't make a tournament to a team that did make the tournament in one year. Um, and looking to do the same thing here. When you got here, got inside her program, learned her coaching and her habits, did you learn right away why her programs have been so successful? Absolutely, absolutely. She focuses on the little things and how the little things matter. Um, and so when you put those little things together and you stack those together, um, it's, hard to, it's hard to lose. Minnesota women's basketball has had some down years recently. They haven't had the success you would like to see having gone to the NCAA tournament. Did you get those vibes once you got here? Or what was the mood like with the team and Coach P? Absolutely not. Um, when, when I got here, the team was like, hey, we got a new team. We got a new coaching staff. Let's go do, let's go shock the world. Let's go do something that we haven't done. So when I got here, it was, the tournament was always on our mind. Right. So talk about the beginning of the season. You guys started out on fire. It looks like you were going to be a team going to the NCAA tournament, then some adversity hit. What's the season been like for you all? Um, it's been, it's been a growth season, honestly. Um, ups and downs, but overall, we've just trying to, Stick to the game plan, stick to, you know, making, getting 1% better every day. Um, that's really been our main goal, to not really focus on what we can't control, focus on what we can't control. Um, our flow is our flow, and we're trying to get back to that right now. For you personally, how hard is it to gel? Coming from another school, transferring again, having to meet a whole new coaching staff, get to know a whole new university, and your final year in college. You know, normal people would say it was hard, but we're all going through something new. We got a new coaching staff, we got a new team. <laughs> so we're all going through something new right now. Um, so just being able to, you know, lock in, um, buy in, honestly. Um, it's a, something that I've been focused on my whole career, buying into the culture, the program that I'm in at that time. And that's, that's really been my focus now, locking on what Donnie P is trying to teach us and 
get that done. Janae, I know a lot of people talk to you guys about basketball because you are athletes, but I want to talk to you about life outside of the basketball court because that's a big deal. For you, what do you get most out of Minnesota and being here at this university? Um, honestly, just different things. Um, I've been able to, I'm fortunate enough that I have a lot of teammates that are from here. Um, so being able to like, you know, see Minnesota through their eyes, trying to see like the local, the local things to do, um, the fairs, the, you know, carnival rides. So just trying to lock in the culture in Minnesota has been fun, especially with people that's from here. Yeah. So how was the state fair? Yeah, that was your first experience with that? It was. It was my first experience. Um, it was a good time. It was a good time. I got to hang out with my teammates. Yeah. Um, it, I was fairly new to the program <laughs> at that time. So just being able to hang out with them was a great time. Best food from the fair? Uh, I know it was a lot. Probably. Well, I'm not I'm not going to lie. The che I had cheesecakes for the first time. Did you like so those? I did. That's a big I fan did. favorite around here I up did. north. <laughs> All right. Now for you, you're in a sorority. Tell me more about that <laughs> sorority and, and your process of joining it. Uh, absolutely. So I'm in Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. Um, the process was a process, <laughs> um, but luckily I got it done. Um, you know, I'm just happy to have be surrounded by people, women like-minded like me, um, oriented, or goal-oriented, mm -hmm. um, wanting to you know put their best foot forward, wanting to serve the community around them. And honestly, that's my big thing: giving back to the people that gave to me something that I've always put, hung my hat on. What's it like being in a sorority compared to being on a team? Would you say that they're similar? Absolutely. Um, you know, it's always about goals. Um, so sorority, we have our goals, we have our purpose, we have what we want to do, um, and we go out there and do it, and that's the same thing for our team. We, we have our goals, we have our purpose, and we go out there and attack it every day. For any young player or young fan listening to this interview right now, what would you want them to hear about the, the process of college and going through it and enjoying it, but also balancing it and getting out of it what you want to get out of it? You know, it's, it's what you make it, honestly. You can, you, can go, you can come every day and hate it, or you can come every day and love it. Um, so it's what you make it. And if you make it fun and you make it enjoyable and you make it something that you really want to do, then that's what you'll get out of it. And final question I have for you. You only have a couple of games remaining here in your regular season. Mar Brown went down, means you're asked to do a whole lot more. What's the weight like on your shoulder right now as you approach your final two months of playing college basketball? You know, there's no weight. Um, my team believes in me. Um, Mar Brown texts me like, hey, like, go out there and play. And, um, that's what I've been doing. No weight on my shoulders, honestly, just going out there and performance what I'm looking forward to. Thankful for the opportunity, honestly. And we're thankful for your time for this interview, Janae. Good luck the rest Absolutely. of the season. Absolutely. Thank you. No doubt. So if you ever write a book, can I call you Donnie P, by the way? That's what everybody calls you. <laughs> for sure. Um, you've got the cover quote of Coach P is a mastermind. I just want to play. Mm -hmm. I mean, is that, that's got to be pretty nice to hear, even though you won't say yourself that you're a mastermind. Well, Janae is very kind, <laughs> but she's just been a tremendous asset to our program. We love having her here. And what's it like to have her fit in on a group like she's got to come in. It's a microwave, right? It's not a long, drawn-out process. She didn't grow up here. She doesn't know a lot right. of people here to fit in pretty seamlessly. She has done a tremendous job of all of that. And so it's it's just, and it's, she speaks she speaks volumes of our program in the respect that when she interacts with people outside of our program, she is such a great role model and such a great spokesperson and does all the right things. And so it's really been fun to have her with us and help us learn from her at the same time. Well, Janae Sanders, the epitome of a woman's go for basketball player. And coming up on the other side of the break, we have one more example of that. Mar Braun, she's speaking for the very first time after her foot injury. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. You're watching the Gopher Coaches Show. Yeah, we're rising up. Welcome back to the Gopher Coaches Show. I'm Ahmad Hicks, Justin Gar, Coach Plitzewhite, and none other than the Mar Braun joining the desk right now. Mar, how are you today? That was a good intro. I, Thank I you. Try, I try. You know, we, we got to step it up when you're uh, joining the desk with us. So I want to talk about your start to this season. You raised your averages in almost every category that that was possible. You lowered your turnovers. How did you feel like you were playing before your injury? I think just with more confidence, um, I think going through a whole season before, dealing with obviously a lot of adversity then too, um, just really helped. And I just say every year I just want to continue to get better um, each year in every part of my game. And I think I did that, especially on the defensive end too early on. Um, and then just continuing to expand my game in all assets. Um, 
And you were doing things on both sides of the ball. We've talked to Coach about that. that they're not just missing you offensively. Mm -hmm. I'm curious, just how has the rehab process been? I know the answer. I assume <laughs> it's horrible, but just how, how difficult has this stretch been? Yeah, it's definitely tough. Um, obviously, you don't really know until you're, you're put into it. And I always saw you know, Nia doing her rehab every day, Kennedy. And once you're in it, you kind of understand that. You know, that love and passion for the game has just grown so much for me and just wanting to be out there. Um, rehab, taking it day by day, obviously getting stronger physically, but then mentally and spiritually too, so I'm a better version of myself when I come back. When we're seeing the injury here, obviously, no, no, of course you make the shot. Uh, that's right in front of us yeah. on the bench and the radio crew. <laughs> you tried to stay in the game. You yeah. wanted to stay in the yeah. game. I think waved off a sub to get you out of the yeah. game. When did you know, though, it was, it was something more serious and you needed to get out of there? Yeah, you know, like you said, I, I kept trying to go. I waved off Maggie afterwards. I'm like, sorry, I didn't mean for that to be <laughs> a little rude, but I was just a little fired up in the moment, um, starting to feel good again after kind of a little slump. But, you know, it happens. I think I kept going up and down just to see if I could kind of stretch it out, get it going a little bit, but it was at the point where I was like, I can't. I can't really put pressure on it. I thought they were going to take advantage of me on that defensive, <laughs> and I was a liability at that time. But, no. It's all right. It happens. Injury Coach happens. P, what's the hardest part about speaking with the medical staff and then having to go tell one of your better players that they may be done for the rest of the season after such a hot start? Well, the good or the bad news is I didn't have to do that. I think <laughs> the good or the bad news on the other end is they had to tell me those kind okay. of things. So, uh, but yeah, I think Mar probably knew that before I knew that at that point in time. But it, really challenging. But we also know again that she's she's going to do everything that she can, and we're watching her grow right now physically getting stronger, but mentally approaching the game and seeing the game. And she is someone, Mar, someone who is, I've always said, she, she's a, she has a great ability to understand what she needs to do in the, in the moment, but she also has this very special ability to help others, guide others, see what they need to do too. So we would talk a lot about what, she, what we missed from her on the offense end or defense end, but there's more to it than that. It's right. sometimes mm -hmm. just the calming presence yeah. of here's what you can do at this point in time, sure. or here's what we're going to do, or... Maybe it's getting me the ball. I don't know what it is exactly, but there's a common presence to it. Mara, how hard has it been to get you off the court? Because as we see this video right now, you're getting shots up. You're walking around without a boot on or anything like that. So how much have coaches had to say, hey, take a step back, just relax a little bit? <laughs> no, I think it's more so myself just wanting to continue to, to get better in any way I can, um, whether that's, you know, in practice, shooting while everyone else is doing their thing or just continuing to communicate and bring energy um, especially on the defensive end, uh, that's something I can control right now. And so I think that, and then also trying to build up other people like Amaya, like G, um, Mal, to use their voices because that's really important right now too. Yeah, I was gonna, that was kind of where I wanted to go next is how have you been able to be a leader when you're not yeah. on the court? I mean, that's something you've never had to do before. Usually you could just say, just, I'll get the ball, we'll, we'll figure it out from there. <laughs> how different has it been for you to have to do it this way? Yeah, for me, I think, you know, just continuing to grow my IQ mindset off the court, being able to help others, kind of direct them. Right now I'm really focused on working with McKenna and trying to get her ready for next year too. Um, but then just with, with G, Amaya, Mal, um, continuing to grow their confidence in their games and to allow them to trust themselves, especially right now when they might have to take like those end of game shots um, that I normally would. But I think it's all going to work out for the better. Um, it's just part of the process right now. And you talked about McKenna Johnson. That's a mm -hmm. retro freshman this season who's going to step into a big role next year. For you, how excited are you to get back on the court and play with this young group of talent that you yeah. guys have on this roster? She, she's a hard worker. She, right away when she came in, constantly getting shots up. And for me, I love to see that because that's something that I take pride in too. So having other people that want, are that hungry, that want to be in the gym. And, you know, she comes in when I was – playing still she'd have to guard me every day and have to guard us through our sets and just continuing to make us better too and that'll benefit her in the long run so for me right now you know she'll come over on the sideline and be like hey what should I work on for this possession and I just love that because I want to be a coach so that's yeah. awesome mm -hmm. for me to be able to experience that but she's she wants to be good and I love that about her all right we have about 20 seconds left is there anything left anything else you want to say about this team coach P or what you're excited about most next season I'm just excited to continue to grow this, um, get new pieces in here. Obviously, we showed what we're capable of earlier this season. Adversity hit, um, but it happens, and we'll grow from it. But I think really optimistic from what we saw earlier on.
Well, you heard it from Mara Braun, one of the best players on the Gophers team. She's excited about next season. So any transfer portal players or recruits <laughs> listening to her, pay attention. Big things coming for the Gophers next season. Now stick around. We're going to talk about the Big Ten Women's Basketball Tournament coming up later this week with Coach P as they get set to take on Rutgers. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the Gopher Coaches Show. All right, we burned all of our TV timeouts, so now we have to talk our final two minutes, and that's the Big Ten Women's Basketball Tournament. Sold out already. What's that atmosphere going to be like for you guys, you think? Well, it's an incredible opportunity for us. We get to play in our backyard right. with a, a, a crowd that is a, hopefully a mostly gopher crowd, and so we're really <laughs> excited about it. So we tip off against Rutgers yep. Wednesday night. On Peacock. That'll be a good game for you. You guys played them earlier this season. Coach, that was a game that you had without Mara Braun. Where do you think you can get over the hump this game and possibly get the W? Well, we have to do a really good job of, of one, making sure that we're limiting them to one shot. For I sure. think that was really a challenge for us in certain stretches. And then we've got to do a great job of taking care of the basketball. We get good shots, let them fly at that point in time. You know, <laughs> right. you're at home, let's go, basically yeah. at home. Justin, well, you big, mentioned big. Rutgers. They also had a bunch of threes, I think, out in Piscataway. One player in particular, Petticord, got kind of got kind of crazy there. So how do you kind of manage it? We've talked about the issue scoring the ball for the Gophers. When they're going three by three, that, that makes things difficult. How do you manage that? Well, a couple of them were in some late, later shot clock scenarios. Yep. Some of them were in some finish the play. We didn't get an offense or defense rebound. They got an offensive rebound and kicked it back out. You know, so I think finishing all possessions and finishing plays is going to be really important for us. 15 seconds, Coach. What do you want your team to take away most of this week? Let's go. Let's get after it. Let's get better. <laughs> zero, zero, time. baby. Come yeah, on. You heard Coach. Go. She's ready to go right That's now. It. You can tip the ball off and she'll be ready to coach right now. Coach Pete, thank you so much for this whole season of joining us. We appreciate it and we look forward to more years of you coaching in on the Go for Culture Show. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Appreciate it. For Coach Pete, Justin Gar, I'm Amon Picks. See you all next week.